Would you please come to lie onto your front side on your belly again, propped up on your elbows? We will continue with the next progression in this series. A quiet lesson, but a very strong lesson. So let's continue. And especially in this lesson, if you need something in front of your belly or pelvis just to make your lower back feel more comfortable or underneath your elbows, anything to make yourself more comfortable, please treat yourself to such. And then just be on your elbows. So we already did a, a lot of movements, but we will <laughs> improve upon, we will see how far can we improve. And to start this lesson just let your head hang let your head hang so you're propped up on your elbows and let your head hang down and my voice will guide you so your head is hanging and you might want to lift your head a little bit and then hang it a bit more just relax your head your head is hanging from your spine and maybe the top of your head you can put it into your hands or maybe even rest on the floor or maybe you're far away from the floor so the head is really just <laughs> nicely or in its way just hanging down and try to make yourself comfortable ease into this position of letting the head hang in between your shoulders so finally we have permission to do that let the head just hang <laughs> a joyful hanging so this is something you can do even in the middle of the night just prop yourself up and let your head hang and then the first movement. Bring your attention to the tip of your nose and start to make little lines with your nose. Move your, lift your nose a little bit up and like alongside the floor. Like if you would want to look towards the horizon. So lift your nose a little bit and then let your head hang down fully again. So you're drawing a little line, uh, imaginary line from your belly to the horizon. So it's like a circle. It's not just a line, it's, it's a curve. And start very small, like half an inch, a centimeter, less, just a little movement, like a little voice in the dark, a little light in the dark, the voice of an angel, just like a, strings. Just a little movement. And it can be to the left and to the right. A little bit, a little circle, but up and down. Just a small movement of your head, of your neck, with the tip of your nose in space. and try to let your head hang more and more. So with this little movement, maybe already your head can hang more and more and come closer towards the floor. All right, and then you could take a rest on your front side or roll onto your back just to see how you're lying on your back right now and to have a little break from this movement, from this position, to give your arms a rest. So we had the entrance, the entrance movement, the first movement, and the lesson will have three big parts. So let's continue or start with the first part. So first come back onto your front side and prop yourself up on your elbows again and let your head hang and then your head is hanging and then have your eyes open and bring your attention to, to your eyes and 
lift your eyes so you can see, you can see the floor or your, the carpet, the, the bed, and then lift your eyes so you would, as if you would look towards your eyebrows or your hairline. Maybe if you would try to see your eyebrows. Your head is hanging and you try to see your eyebrows. And then let go again, because that might be strenuous. That's not a movement we do that much. We look down a lot nowadays, but we don't look up so much. Do we? Don't we? Don't look up. So now look up. Please look up. Lift your eyes. Just the eyes. It's the, the eyeballs. They roll up to look towards your eyebrows while your head is hanging. And then keep looking up and start to lift your head, to lift your eyes and your nose towards the horizon and maybe even a bit further. So you start to see the ceiling, maybe, or just a little bit above the horizon. And then keep looking upwards. Keep your eyes turned up, but lower your head again until your head is fully hanging again. And then rest your eyes. So we'll do this movement a couple of times. So your head is hanging and resting, you have your eyes open, then you roll your eyes towards your eyebrows to look at the eyebrows, and this already you can feel if you're quiet enough and if it's still enough and you give yourself enough time and slow enough, you can feel the pull. The eyes pull the head up and allow this pull to heaven. Uh, have to, and this pull to heaven, yes, this pull to happen. So you look up and you lift your head to look up to heaven, to the skies, to the ceiling the concrete ceiling or the glass ceiling so and then keep looking up and lower your head again and get, until your head is hanging and that's you can rest your eyes again and then we will do it one more time and i will also do it one time in silence together with you Yes, and if you give yourself enough time, you notice so many details, how difficult it is to keep your eyes up and where you have little jumps and where your eyes want to relax and, and what do you do with your spine and so forth. So we'll answer these questions soon in movement. Now, the next variation is have your head hanging and this time look down, your eyes, turn your eyes towards your belly. So you're looking down. You're looking down and then keep looking down and lift your head, your nose towards the horizon and your nose up to the skies. But keep looking down, keep looking down. And then your head is up and you're looking down and then lower your head again. You're looking down, lower your head again until your head is hanging. So first time, second time, again. Your head is hanging, you look down, you roll your eyeballs down towards your belly and you start to lift your nose, your head, to, to face with the nose to the horizon, but you're looking downwards. Keep looking down and lift your, your head higher, keep looking down and then lower your head, keep looking down, lower your head, keep looking down until your head is hanging again. So one last time I will do it together with you. We'll start with the head hanging and looking downwards and then with the eyes open, looking downwards and lifting the nose and looking downwards and letting the head sink and looking downwards and downwards and rest. Okay, and now we will combine that. So, look downwards <laughs> with your eyes, look downwards and lift your nose towards the sky and look downwards while you go up. 
and then now the change, look upwards and lower your head. So we have a strong differentiation, totally di worse, it's uh, different uh, opposite directions. So when you lift your head, you look downwards and when you lower your head, you look upwards. Let's do this three or four times, but slowly, slowly, slowly. So you can start to experience the details and hear the quiet sounds. So when you lift, so you start with the head relaxed and when you lift your head, you look downwards. It's a very difficult movement. And then you turn your eyes towards the sky and you lower your head and you look upwards and you lower your head and you keep looking upwards, lower your head, keep looking upwards until your head is hanging again. And we'll do it, we'll do it together with you in silence. Okay, so you might need to practice this a couple of times on your own or together with this video, together with me, and you will become good at that. And it's important to be good at that in order to improve, to reap the benefits of this lesson. It will be amazing. So we will take a short rest on the back. Yeah, and yeah, just feel how you're resting on your back now. And then we'll continue to the second part, the second big part of this lesson. So please come back onto your front side again. And let's shortly review the sinking and lifting of the spine in between the shoulder blades. So prop your on the, on the elbows and you lift your chest bone away from the floor and lower it back to the floor. So up and down, just this movement we had in the last two lessons. And then, so we have the movement, the sinking and the lowering of the spine, and now we will add the head movement. So, first of all, our starting position, let your head hang, the head is hanging downwards, and then lift the head and raise the spine. So you're lifting your nose and maybe your eyes, do whatever you want in this combination with your nose, so the head is moving upwards to the horizon and upwards to the sky and at the same time you're lifting your lifting your spine in between your shoulder blades and then lower your head and lower your spine sink your spine in between the shoulder blades while you lower your head and when your head is resting your head is hanging in between your shoulders and your spine is sunk in between your shoulders, your shoulder blades. So one more time, you lift your head and you raise your spine in between the shoulder blades and then you sink your spine in between the shoulder blades and you lower your head. And start to do this faster. When you when you start to be good at it, do it faster, a little bit faster, so you really get the hold of it, the hold of this movement. You lift the spine and you lift the head and you sink the spine and you sink the head, you lower the head. Okay, and now we will do the differentiation, very strong differentiation. So, <laughs> starting position. Lift the spine and let your, so the spine is lifted as much as you can and your head is hanging. So that will be our starting position. So your nose is pointing more or less towards the floor or towards your belly and the spine is as high up as possible. And then lift your head and lower your spine. So the chest bone is coming closer to the floor and your nose is coming closer to the ceiling. And then back again. You lower your head and you lift your spine. You lift your chest bone. 
until your spine is as high up as you can while being propped up on your elbows and your head is hanging. And then in the other direction. So you sink your spine in between your shoulder blades and you lift your nose, you lift your head to look up. <laughs> also, not easy if you're doing it for the first time. So if you're doing it in, if you even do an approximation, if you're doing it somehow, you're doing pretty well, you're doing very well. And it will get better the more you get into it, the more repetitions, the longer you, uh, you, the longer you practice, of course, with practice comes mastery, and they say. And then let's turn that around again. Lift your head and lift your spine and lower your head and sink your spine. So we have two components, the head movement and the movement of your spine and chest. The head movement and the spine movement. And the eye movements, I leave that up to you. you. We could make that far more complicated. We could fill two hours just with this movement. So now let's take a rest on the back <laughs> and see. <laughs> Observe the middle of your back, how the middle of your chest is now different. huh? <laughs> You might feel like a different person. So the progress in this lesson is just mind-blowing. It's quite amazing. And how do you breathe now? How is your breathing? And we might need a little bit, a longer rest, so you can accommodate those extreme changes, actually. the spine becoming more flexible. And then, of course, that's good for the back, for the neck, for the hip joints, for the legs. It's good for everything. And not just more flexible, but more coordinated. All right, so for the last part, for the third part, so please come back onto your front side. propped up on your elbows, of course, and this time draw up your right knee on the floor. You can draw it up as, as far as you can, and you're on your elbows. So there's people who find this the most comfortable position humanly possible. They can spend, they can spend hours in this position. but maybe you need a little bit of time to get used to it. So you might want to draw up your knee two or three times before you have it up. So that's our starting position. You're on your elbows, your right knee is drawn up, and then close your right eye. So the eyelid, use your eyelid to close your right eye, or a patch, <laughs> or some tape. And only your left eye is open. And with your left eye, look to the floor in between your elbows. And then with the left eye, trace alongside the floor. The same thing you did with your nose before. Now it's the left eye, the left eye on the floor, up towards the horizon and up towards the ceiling. So you lift your head only with your left eye open. And we did the head lifting in quite a few variations already, so I leave that up to you if you raise your spine or if you lower your spine. But if you raise your spine and raise your head and you look with your left eye and then down again until your head is hanging. And yes, and continue. But if you look with your left eye, what is what will happen? What will happen? So you will feel this lengthens your left side. You're leaning, leaning more on which elbow, the right or the left elbow. You're leaning more on your left elbow and your left side becomes long. It's a lengthening. It's a lengthening from your left eye to your left small toe, including your psoas. So this is how you integrate the psoas in the lengthening. So you can feel your psoas your pelvis on the floor, the whole left side, everything is lengthening. The left side, 
the left hip joint, the left leg, everything. Uh. And you can work in some of the variations from the previous two parts. Maybe, maybe you can even close both eyes if you already know the pathway of your left eye. If you can do it blindfolded, so to speak. All right, and then we will take a rest on the back. So please come to roll back onto your back. <laughs> and compare, of course, your left side with your right side, which might be quite a big difference. And then let's finish this. Please come back onto your front side. Finish this with the last variation to draw up your left, left leg, your left knee on the floor. You're on your elbows. You draw up your left knee on the floor. You close your left eye and with the right eye you look to, to the floor in between your Elbows, let, let the head hang and then slowly start to lift your eyes, lift your nose. With the right eye, lead the movement to look towards the sky, the heavens, the ceiling, and then down again until your head is hanging down again. And you can play with all the variations we had in this lesson. Move what you need to move, make yourself comfortable, discover you will explore, you will notice, you can name your experience, become aware of things and let's keep a moment of silence and practice. All right, and then we'll take a last rest on the back. So please roll onto your back again. <laughs> now the two sides should have evened out. And you should have, how is your lying experience? You should have quite an interesting, quite a nice experience now lying on your back, like a full contact to the floor. A lot of changes maybe improvements, our improvement work.
All right, so the last thing we have to do, the only thing that's left to do is to get up and see how it is in standing. So please come back up to stand. And in standing, to notice the changes, the improvements, look up, lift your nose, your eyes a little bit and see how your spine, how your spine can participate, the upper part of your spine. And when you look down a little bit, how your spine can participate when you turn around, how your shoulders can twist in relation to your pelvis and how the spine can accommodate and follow these movements. How, yes? <laughs> Isn't it a new kind of smoothness? A well-integrated chest and head movements. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had big improvements, big benefits from this lesson. It was a pleasure to present you this movement sequence. And I hope to see you in the next video.